hey what's up guys I welcome you to today's tutorial today I'm going to teach you how to design this awesome digital clock using simple JavaScript I recommend you to watch this video till the end because I'm going to explain you everything that you need to know without further ado let's get started I'm going to open my Visual Studio code text editor let me open the folder where I want to design this project I'm going to my desktop I have got the project as JavaScript let me open the folder actually this is empty I'm going to create my index.html file here we go I'm going to create the basic boilerplate here we go and then I'm going to create a separate JavaScript file I'm going to name them at main.js here is the place where we are going to have the JavaScript now the next thing I'm going to link the JavaScript file into my HTML in order to do that script source then name of the file in this case main.js here we go the next thing is I want to create the div here with an ID so let me say short time as an ID okay then I'm going to have an event name called onload this event is going to have the JavaScript function let me say my time is the name of the function so I'm going to my JavaScript where I'm going to create a function I'm going to create the arrow function const the name of the function that I'm going to create is exactly the same name as this one my time let me copy and paste them here so as I said it's going to be a arrow function first I want to make use of the JavaScript inbuilt function name called date function with that function we can able to get the hour, minutes, second that we want. So I'm going to create a variable name as uh, current date equals. I'm going to use the default function from the JavaScript new date. So with that function, I'm going to find out the hour equals current date dot get hours method. Yes, this is a method is going to help me to get the actual hour. So uh, I'm going to do the same for the rest. So I'm just going to change this one into minutes. So let us look at the design. We have got hour, minutes, seconds together with a session. So let me create another variable name called let session. And initially I'm going to assign this one to AM. I'm sure that there, is, there are two sessions in a day, AM and PM starting from 0 up to 12 is AM anything beyond 12 up to 24.59 is going to be PM so in order to check this condition I'm going to use if statement where this hover is equals to equal to 0 in this case hover is going to be 12 alright then the next condition that I'm going to check if the hover is greater than 12 then we are going to have hover is equals to hover minus 12 then the session is going to be pm hope it's clear right now what's next simple we need to find out the time according to this format so we are going to have hour minute seconds together with the session there is a colon in between so in order to do that what we can do i'm going to say let time variable equals the first one is going to be hour followed by a colon in order to have the colon i'm going to use the concatenation in the double code i'm going to have the colon plus we are going to have minute plus again colon we are going to have seconds plus we are going to have the session isn't it so so let me have the space then we can have session that's it what is next we need to render this one into the html here is the HTML that is a div with an ID name called short time. Let me copy that one so that we can use the document.get element by ID method. The ID name is the same, my short time. Then I'm going to use the inner HTML property equals to this particular variable here so that we can display them. Okay, so here is a function. We have not called the function yet. So at the end, let me call the function. Uh, my time I think so yes my time is the name of the function semicolon let me save and run let's see what will happen here we go 8 19 45 is the right time then p.m. yes of course it's a p.m. you can verify the time here is p.m. but the one thing is here the seconds they are performing but here is just 45 it's not moving actually when I refresh 
yes it does it's not meaning that every time you need to refresh the browser to see the seconds performing so you can fix that one easily what you can do you can go to your uh, javascript file javascript has got a function name as set timeout this set timeout is going to take two parameters one is the name of the function in this case my time comma 1000 1000 millisecond is equivalent to one second meaning the browser is going to be refreshed every after one second so that the seconds can be performing on its own as you can see them here now i have not done anything the seconds are moving forward right the next thing is eight they are just eight here is 37 it's okay but what if, if i want to add zero in front as you can see them here there is a zero in front there is two digit in short what if, if i want to add two digit if it is anything less than 10 uh, i'm going to add zero in front in that case it's going to be simple what i'm going to do hover equals i'm going to set the condition here if hover less than 10 what i'm going to do is i'm going to add the zero isn't it so if hover is 10 i'm going to add the zero in front together with the hover if not it is going to display the, the actual hover i hope it's clear right if anything less than 10 is going to add zero in front together with the hover if the hover is greater than 10 let's say the hover is 11 in that case this condition is going to false then it's going to execute this one what is the hover 11 so it's just going to display 11 instead of displaying zero in the front so let me do the same for the other things so this is going to be the minutes let me save and refresh the browser so that you will see the difference now you can see there is a zero in front before the eight so even these seconds when it reaches 59 instead of starting from zero it is going to start as zero zero that's what it does i hope everything is clear now now all we need to, as you can see them here now zero one zero three there is a zero added in front of that seconds even if the minutes goes below 10 it's going to add the zero in front now all we are remaining with is just the design so that it can look nice like this so i'm going to add the css so here style.css that index i'm going to link the css here we go just let me do the basic style body is going to background color is going to be black then here i'm going to target this particular id what is an id short time is an id let me just copy so it's an id put hash in front so we can say color of the text is going to be this is a color then position going to be absolute from top is going to be 50 percent from the left is going to be 50 percent again because i want them to be in the center transform translate x-axis is going to be minus 50 percent comma y-axis is going to be minus 50 percent uh, and then font weight i want them to be bold maybe font size maybe let's say 80 pixel let me save and refresh so that we will see how it works here we go everything looks good except that there is a no glowing border so that one can be done easily so what we can do we can have the border property let's say three pixels solid then we need to pass the color the color we can say hash then box shadow for that glowing thing say 7 pixel we can just say 21 let's say one see how it works here we go but there is a no padding inside no wonder that the, the content is too close let me just add the padding padding let's say 30 pixel let me save refresh the browser here we go everything looks nice isn't it so we have managed to design the digital clock I hope you liked it don't forget to hit the like button in case if you have liked it and if you're not subscribed the channel before please do subscribe thank you